it's finally time for Obi's summer sale. And I have four products to talk about, but there's something much more important happening at Obi that I don't want you to miss. So we're gonna cover these four items, and then we're gonna spend some time talking about why you're gonna to wanna to pay attention to Obi in the future. So for starters, let's talk about the big boy. This is a multi-tool. Well, according to uh, the internet, it's a multi-tool. Three different uh, functions. So yeah, it's a multi-tool, right? That seems fair. But realistically, this is a hammer. This is a hammer primarily, and then has two additional tools. It is actually designed in a way that actually would make it best first and foremost as a hammer because it has a solid steel shaft. It's going to be more evenly weighted than an ax would be where it would be head heavy. And it does not have an angled pry that's coming out in a 90 degree direction so you can get maximum leverage. So secondary, secondary, primary. And the primary implement is actually pretty cool. Let's go ahead and pull this thing off and take a look. So it actually has a large hammering end that actually can be replaced. And I did get a chance to play with it a little bit, both on the hammer and with the ax as well. Now this is made in a 5CR. And uh, I was concerned very much on the heat treatment because, you know, if you don't do it right, it's going to end up being too soft, the edge will roll. Now I did get a chance to do a little bit of chopping, and so this is after that point, and I just wanna show you how the edge is. Now I've not touched up the edge in any way. I mean, it is, it, that this paper is wet, but trust me when I say, this is crazy sharp for an ax, or I should say a hammer, with a sharp edge. And so it has a secondary and primary edge. This is actually flat ground. I did have to check that. I wasn't quite sure if it was hollow or not, but it, thankfully it is actually flat ground, which will make the edge a lot sturdier. And it's about a quarter of an inch thick. Nice, comfortable handle, prying edge. And the way they have actually made this uh, sheath is really well appreciated because without the exposure, of the hammering end, it would be a lot worse. And it's also a little bit dangerous to utilize that hammering end without, you know, actually covering up that very, very, very sharp edge. Very, very cool. And what I'm gonna use this for is actually gonna be something I'll leave in a vehicle. It will be kind of a jack of all trades, master of none kind of situation. And uh, I'm gonna guess that more often than not, I'm gonna use this to make mischief than almost anything else. Very, very cool offering from them. But the next couple items are actually some of my favorites that they've ever released. Now we're gonna talk about this first. Now this is actually a titanium whistle, which is appreciated because if you're gonna have a compass, you don't wanna have anything ferrous around it so that it would interfere with the magnetic north of the compass. And so even the split ring is titanium as well. And so that is very much appreciated. Now, when I first got it, the first, you know, my eight-year-old wanted to see it immediately. She loves all the whistles that I end up getting. She always plays with them. And usually that's not much of an issue. She knows not to blow too hard and so on. We were down here in the basement when she used this. And I think she scared both her and myself. Like it was much louder than I expected. And I've actually gone out and tried it myself. This is one of, if not the loudest whistle I have tested thus far. It's crazy, and it does not require a large amount of air to actually generate a large sound. I'm not even going to test it on video. Just believe me when I say that it is seriously loud. So kind of a cool addition. I'm not sure it's something I would carry every day. It's a little bit too big for that. But it would be great to put on a zipper pull, on a backpack, on you know something you might take on a day hike and it's gonna have two very useful things, which is a compass and also a way to notify people in the local area. And man, when I say it's loud, I am not joking. This is something that uh, really does work well. Now, Obi has been asking me to do reviews for them for a while. And usually the products are a little bit too outdoors and I don't have the time to really put effort into testing them 
to give a proper feedback. But they have started carrying some pretty awesome EDC items, and this is one of them. So it's a titanium key separator, and uh, the fact that it has the ability to rotate doesn't come apart, so it's not magnetic, but what happens is if you slide this out like that, then you have the ability to open it. But you have to do both steps in order to get it to separate. Otherwise, it's very, very strong. That is one of my biggest pet peeves with magnetic attachments. Doesn't matter how strong they are, they always tend to come apart on me. I get them caught in a door and then all of a sudden they're being pulled off. I don't feel like that's gonna be the case for this. And these are really reasonably priced for something that is made of titanium, is this light and also this strong. So definitely worth checking out in this particular sale. Now last, but certainly not least. Now please do not leave. There's something important I wanna talk about at the end of this video. This is a four millimeter bit driver and it actually has storage inside the handle for not one, not two, not three, but four double sided bits. And they have magnetic retention on the front here. So you can actually use, use them, close that up. And it's actually one of the coolest form factor screwdrivers I have actually seen. This is definitely going to make it into my screwdriver video at the end of the year. Now, because it is set up for double-sided bits, this particular version does not function with a standard hex bit, a standard, standard four millimeter bit, because it simply doesn't go far enough to hit the magnet. You could convert this very easily using a um, cylindrical magnet and installing it to convert it into a standard four millimeter driver. And I may or may not do that, I haven't decided yet. It really depends a lot on the availability of those double-sided bits. I hope that Obi will make them available to purchase separately so you can replace them as needed. The good news though, is that you can also get them on Amazon. This is the Hoto driver and it comes with a whole variety of security bits. So a lot of these like the Torx actually are full security bits, making them incredibly useful. And uh, although this is expensive, this in and of itself is a good screwdriver, but you can see, look at the difference in size. So definitely different purposes, titanium versus aluminum, very, very cool. And actually at a pretty good price right now as well. Speaking of prices, I was perusing Obi and notice that they are carrying American-made products by brands that you and I both know. And that's why I'm gonna turn the camera around and we're gonna talk about something very, very important. So in preparation for this video, of course I had to go to obuy.com, check prices, do some research, right? Come to find out, there's all of these products listed that are manufactured by American companies. Tactile Turn Pens, Key Bar, Rogan USA, Lynch Northwest Clips, uh, Combat Beats, so many products. And I was shocked. I hadn't visited Obi in a while, so I needed to know what was going on. So I reached out to my friend, Rogan, who's actually a close friend. We've talked for years. And I know just how cautious he is about working with people and, and integrity is important to him. So I knew he would give it to me straight. So with his permission, I'm going to share some of his experience working with Obi. He was concerned and a little bit tentative about obviously sending his product to Obi and having them manage it. You know, there's risks. And if you work with a company like Amazon, you know what those risks are. They basically have free reign to copy your product if they choose to. And they also have control of the pricing. If you're not selling, they're gonna drop your price and your margins are gonna go down. That is not the case with Obi, they have managed it in a completely different way. So when Rogan talked with them, he had a set of conditions, his own packaging, making sure that they would know it was his name and so on and so forth. And basically they were accommodating for everything that he requested. But more than that, and this is the biggest deal of all, they were not asking Rogan to drop off product and then according to how much he sells, he'll get paid, no, no. He got paid for an entire batch of his product to be sent directly to the distribution center here in America. And then when you purchase it from obuy.com, they're gonna ship it out with everything else that you buy during that sale. Rogan has already 
been taken care of. And his product is going to be respected and his intellectual property rights are going to be respected. I'm impressed to say the least with how they're handling this and it's not something I usually see because when you have enough resources to purchase that much product up front, you also tend to throw your weight around, which companies like Amazon tend to do. That's not the case here. It seems to me at least that Obi understands the value of credibility and credibility with a whole bunch of makers who are feeling satisfied that they're being helped and they're selling more product, maybe in parallel with their own without any cost to them as far as their own integrity, that's a big deal. And uh, these products aren't leaving the US, they're staying right here and then getting shipped back out. And on top of everything else, you're going to get their infrastructure, which is incredibly fast if you've ever dealt with their shipping. And their customer service has gotten better and better every single year. So you're getting all of that. You're also building into their point system. So you get additional benefits. There's coupons and everything else. This could end up being a win for the consumer, for the maker community, but also for Obi. And if they stick with this and they continue to respect all of these makers, I think it could actually be a big deal. Uh, you might want to watch this website in the future because if they keep going down this route and they can continue to get other makers to join and this becomes a marketplace for everyone to be able to release their products, it's going to be a really, really big deal. Anyway, I don't want to say much more now. This is just that first introduction to what's going on. But I do want to put a little bit of caution for Obi. Don't mess this up. Because what you have right now, this relationship that you're developing with these makers, it's only good for you if you respect everything. And if they do, I think they're going to do very, very well. And I think we're going to do well, and I think the makers are going to do well. So all in all, good choices being made here, and I'm really looking forward to seeing what Obi has in store next. Anyway, thanks again for your time, and we'll talk again soon.